With all its provocations, China is forcing Japan to scrap post-World War II pacifism, and Xi Jinping will pay a heavy price. One of the biggest casualties of the rise of imperial Japan in the previous century was China. China was crushed during the Second World War when Tokyo's germ assaults on China had caused widespread damage in the country. Cities like Nanjing, Shanghai and Guangzhou had fallen to Japanese forces before the Allies counteracted Japanese belligerents. A post-World War II Japan, however, adopted pacifism and mandated it constitutionally. Article 9 of the Japanese constitution prohibits Japan from holding offensive weapons, though the country continues to maintain self-defense forces. However, things are changing as China continues to cross swords with Tokyo over the Senkaku Islands. Japan is considering giving up pacifism and prepare itself against Chinese aggression now. Most recently, the Japan Times quoted government sources as saying that Japan is now immediately scrambling its own fighter jets in response to every Chinese military aircraft taking off from a Chinese airbase in the Fujian province. The report comes amidst rising tensions over the Senkaku Islands, which China calls Diaoyu Islands. Tensions have been escalating between China and Japan ever since China turned brutal and belligerent in its neighborhood. Over the past few months, Beijing's salami slicing tactics have intensified and Beijing has tried to bully Japan too. Chinese vessels have been hovering in the Japanese territorial waters around the Senkaku Islands since the month of May. The uninhabited Senkaku Islands were bought by Japan from a private owner in 2012, but an expansionist China also claims them. Tokyo too has stood its ground in the face of Chinese aggression. It has been confronting the Chinese vessels intruding into Japanese territorial waters, and only recently the name of the administrative area containing the Senkaku Islands was changed from Tonoshiro to Tonoshiro Senkaku in order to affirm Japan's sovereignty over the islands. The Chinese President Xi Jinping has thus forced Japan into a military standoff of sorts. What Beijing doesn't realize is that it is forcing the Japan of the mid-20th century to rise again. Ever since Japan-China tensions escalated, Tokyo has bolstered its military strategy. Recently in March, Japan's bicameral legislature, the National Diet, approved a whopping $46.3 billion defense budget. Military insiders say that the latest spending is clearly pointed against Chinese expansionism and that Japan has approved the massive defense budget to counter Beijing's misadventures. What the military insiders say has been further corroborated in subsequent Japanese decisions. Recently, the Japanese defense minister Taro Kono conducted a rare press briefing for foreign media. In the briefing, Kono underscored the need to keep a tab on Beijing's intentions and capabilities. The Japanese defense minister also stated that he has not ruled out the option of Japan seeking preemptive strike capabilities ahead of National Security Council meets this summer. Japan is looking at acquiring some of the most lethal weapon systems in order to contain Beijing's growing aggression in the East China Sea. Recently, Japan's most important defense partner, the US, announced that it had approved the sale of 105 next-gen F-35 stealth aircraft to Japan. Tokyo is going to spend an estimated 23.11 billion US dollars on the lethal American fighters. Beijing mistook Japanese pacifism for weakness. Chinese President Xi Jinping thought that he could rub Japan up the wrong way and Tokyo would not dare to head back. But the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has matched Chinese aggression with a major military buildup. Chinese belligerence has left Japan with no option but to use its technological capabilities in defense mobilization. Earlier this month, the Japanese Defense Ministry announced the official timeline for developing its own stealth fighter aircraft, the F-3 fighter. It could become a feature of the Japanese forces by 2035. And not just the military buildup. Japan is also becoming a more prominent member of an informal axis against China, the Quad. Tokyo recently decided that it would look to expand cooperation in defense intelligence sharing with countries such as India, Australia, France and the United Kingdom. Moreover, Tokyo could also ink a logistics support agreement with India. 
Japan is trying to become a more active member of the Indo-Pacific Alliance to contain Beijing. The message coming from Japan is loud and clear. Tokyo is not pacifist because of any compulsion or weakness. Rather, it has only chosen to remain so. But China's provocations are increasingly forcing Japan to become a formidable military force just how it was during the Second World War era. China doesn't understand what it is bringing upon itself and before it comes to terms with the changing realities, Japan would have already become an overwhelming military threat.